Imagine you're watching a cooking show and instead of the usual celebrity chefs, you're greeted by two grown men who believe they're monkeys. Yes, you heard it right, monkey pretenders. Now that's not something you see every day. So, these two primate enthusiasts, decked out in their best monkey attire, are having a blast on the show. They're jumping around, making monkey noises, and the audience is eating it up. The host, trying to keep a straight face, guides them through the process of making banana bread and banana pudding, complete with wafers. As the aroma fills the studio, things take a turn for the surreal. An unsuspecting audience member, let's call him Bob, is enjoying a banana. This simple act of snacking, however, triggers the monkey pretenders. They spring into action, darting toward Bob with a speed that would make a real monkey proud. Before anyone can react, they've got Bob in a hold, a scene straight out of a wildlife documentary. They proceed to rip his arms off, in a metaphorical sense of course, because, well, this is a family show. Security is on their heels, but just as they're about to scoop in and restore order, the oven timer dings. The banana bread and pudding are ready. The host, despite the chaos, takes a bite. Her eyes light up. It's delicious. She insists the security personnel try it, and, as if by magic, they too are won over by the culinary prowess of our monkey pretenders. In a twist of events, the monkey pretenders are let off with nothing more than a stern warning. The show ends with laughter and applause, the incident with Bob now a distant, albeit hilarious, memory. So, what's the takeaway from this bizarre tale? Well, for one, never eat a banana in front of people who think they're monkeys. But more importantly, a good banana pudding can save you from a lot of trouble. Even if you're a monkey pretender on a live cooking show.